All right, so you want some poisoned dart frogs. Well, first you gotta remember that there's a lot that goes into the proper setup for poisoned dart frogs. However, once you get them set up, you have an awesome tank and some awesome frogs that are pretty low maintenance. So today I'm gonna show you how to properly care for poisoned dart frogs. So first, um, obviously you want a tank. The size and orientation of the tank will depend on the species of frog you have, but I recommend at least 10 gallons um, for any frog. Uh, a good rule of thumb to go by is, for multiple frogs is 5 to 10 gallons per frog and uh, the orientation of the tank will depend on the species you have so some species will be arboreal or climb more than others while other species will be terrestrial. So for arboreal species you'll want taller tanks where for terrestrial species you'll want longer tanks such as this. Okay so when you have your tank next you'll want a false bottom uh, which you can See right there if the cameraman can zoom in a little bit. And uh, so what this does basically is it allows for the uh, water to drain through to the drainage layer and not saturate the soil. So to achieve this you can use either a clay substrate, pebbles, or egg crate or anything of that nature. So after you get false bottom set up you're going to want to get a substrate. Um, for substrate, you can use a any type of light, airy soil, pretty much. Uh, what I use is called uh, ABG mix, and I'll leave a link in the description about that. But um, it's essentially a very light soil that um, also retains humidity very well. All right. So after you have your substrate, you want to add some leaf litter to your uh, enclosure. And what this will do is it'll provide cover and security for your frogs as well as a place for the microfauna to live. Um, to achieve this you can use either oak or magnolia leaves, I usually use a combination of both. And uh, be sure when you're using these from outside or whatever, uh, make sure that they are sterilized before putting them into your tank. After you have your leaf litter, your substrate, and your false bottom set up, uh, you'll want to add some microfauna. Uh, what that is, is they're essentially little bugs that will help uh, eat any decaying matter uh, inside your tank. So that will reduce uh, cleanup as well as act as another food source for your adult and juvenile frogs. So for microfauna you can use different types of springtails or isopods. Which... So for lighting you can use either LEDs, UVB lights, or fluorescent bulbs. Um, typically UVB uh, tends to be better for the frogs and health of the frogs while LEDs and uh, fluorescents are great for plant growth, but you can use uh, either or, or you can use a combination of both. Uh, okay, so for feeding, you'll want to feed your poison dart frogs, uh, typically flightless fruit flies, every other day for adults and every day for juveniles. Fruit flies, you can either get them at your local pet store online or you can culture them yourself. Uh, there are two different types of fruit flies you can use, either Melanogaster or high dye, which are two different species of fruit flies. Uh, high dyes are for larger dart frogs, whereas melanogasters are for the smaller species. And you also want to add vitamin supplements to the insects every feeding. Um, vitamin supplements are extremely important for the health of your poison dart frogs. Uh, typically what I use is Rocastia Calcium Plus. Uh, I use it for all my animals and it works great. Uh, I totally recommend it. But um, yeah, very important. You must have a calcium supplement and a vitamin supplement or just for Pashi Calcium Plus. Alright, and then once you have all that set up, you'll want to recreate the uh, conditions of a tropical rainforest. So you want to shoot for about 70 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit and um, about 60 to 70 percent humidity. And while you can add fake plants to your enclosure, I highly recommend live plants. Um, you can see I have one right there, but this is just a temporary tank. Um, but live plants will essentially not only add climbing and security for your frogs, but also help uh, raise the ambient humidity of the tank. So I'd say live plants are a pretty important um, thing to have when you're a poison dart frog setup. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the basic care. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I will be breaking everything I'm talking about right now down into further videos. Um, so if you still feel kind of confused on something, uh, just uh, leave a comment and uh, I'll break it down further into a, another video. So um, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching.